The trailer for the new Goosebumps TV show on Disney Plus is out. Even if you've seen it, you probably missed these secrets. The trailer begins showing a cafe near a harbor. This is more than likely Port Lawrence, the town where the new Goosebumps TV show takes place. Inside the cafe, Nathan Bratt, played by Justin Long, talks to a waitress named Nora, played by Rachel Harris, and the two have a brief exchange. Have we met? Nathan Bratt, I'm the new English teacher. We know from Cassie announcements that when Nathan Bratt moves to Port Lawrence, he develops a terrifying connection to a decades-old supernatural murder. I'm assuming the murder is that of Harold Biddle, who we'll be learning more about later in the trailer. I wonder if Nathan Bratt was somehow connected to Harold's death, and perhaps this isn't the first time Bratt has been in Port Lawrence. That would explain why Nora asked if she and Nathan have met before. Speaking of Biddle, Bratt then says this. You live near here? Yeah. The old Biddle House. After this, we see a group of high schoolers, who are the main characters of the show, enter what we assume is the Biddle House. Inside, the character Isaiah gets spooked by a creepy mask. This is very likely the Haunted Mask. In a press release, it was revealed that the new Goosebumps show is drawing elements from five specific Goosebumps books, Say Cheese and Die, Night of the Living Dummy, Go Eat Worms, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, and The Haunted Mask. This all but confirms that the mask Isaiah sees in the trailer is the same mask that terrorized Carly Beth. The bizarre part is that this mask looks nothing like the Haunted Mask. It's likely the creators of the new show just want to put their own spin on the iconic mask. But I have another theory. What if the mask changes as the show progresses? Maybe once the mask is worn and attaches itself to someone's face, the mask will become more and more hideous as it corrupts its host. Perhaps slowly, this plain white mask will become more hideous and monstrous and resemble something closer to the original Haunted Mask. Just a thought. The mask appears again later in the trailer as we see the character Isabella throwing it on. We also see a shot of what appears to be Isabella wearing the mask at some kind of costume party. The character Isabella is touching Madison, who looks a bit puzzled, and so is Isaiah in the background. Maybe the haunted mask is already doing its thing and changing Isabella. This scene though looks interesting. As I mentioned, it looks like the characters are at some kind of party. Also, notice that Madison is wearing a Kill Bill costume. Earlier in the trailer, we see Madison and the other characters exploring a dark house. And she's wearing the same costume. It makes me wonder if the main characters come to the house for a party. Something happens and the power goes out, so the group starts exploring using their phone lights. Alternatively, maybe the characters are the ones hosting the party and arrive before everyone else to set up. They need to figure out how to turn the lights on, which leads them to explore the home and find all that creepy stuff. And speaking of creepy things, after the mask, another Goosebumps creature appears. <laughs> The camera Isaiah uses has to be the same one from Say Cheese and Die. In that case, that means the two girls, Margot and Madison, are gonna have something bad happen to them. We need to talk about Madison a bit too. She isn't one of the five main characters, and according to IMDb, she'll only be appearing in five of the ten episodes. I'm wondering if something's gonna happen to Madison that'll cause her to be absent for half of the series. Additionally, I think Madison is Isaiah's girlfriend. In an earlier shot in the trailer, Isaiah has his arm around her as they are walking. Going back to the scene of Isaiah taking the girl's picture, we see a shot of the character James right before Isaiah jumps out. However, when Isaiah takes the picture, James is nowhere to be seen. I'm assuming that we're seeing two different scenes cut together, and this isn't a big deal. What is a big deal is what we see in the background. We see a clock pushed up against the wall. We know the Cuckoo Clock of Doom is one of the five books influencing the new Goosebumps show, so that could very well be it. The clock appears again later in the trailer and gives James a bit of a scare. It may not mean anything, but I think James is going to be the one who has to deal with the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Something else to note is that in the book, the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, the titular clock causes a person to go back in time. Maybe the characters will use the clock to visit the past and find out exactly what happened to Harold Biddle. Getting back to the trailer, the next part shows Nathan Bratt inside what we assume is the Biddle house. He is suddenly greeted by a floating man who bursts into dust and appears to possess Bratt. Thanks to a helpful hint by actor Ben Cockle, who is playing Harold Biddle, I'm pretty sure the floating guy is THE Harold Biddle. How did he appear after being killed and what exactly is he going to do to Nathan Bratt? That, I'm not sure. In the next clip, Margot is looking down a hallway and she sees a dark figure. If I had to put money on it, I'd say that person is either Harold Biddle or maybe Nathan Bratt under the possession of Harold. A little later in the trailer, we see a clip of Margot in the same location, but now with a crowd of students around her, one of them being Isabella. Isaiah runs to get help and gives Margot a shot of what appears to be insulin. I don't think Margot is having issues with her blood sugar though. We then see the camera back in action. Why would you do that, man? That's not cool! There's no such thing as a curse, dude! It seems that Isaiah is aware that the camera is evil, but James isn't convinced. 
Also, look at the first clip of the trailer in this one. We can tell that James and Isaiah are outside of the cafe. In between that, we see a quick shot of Nathan Bratt in a car. He looks shocked and uneasy. Perhaps he's still being haunted by Harold Biddle. Going back to James and Isaiah, in the next clip, we see the two in some kind of cave. Isaiah has his right arm in a cast, which I'm willing to bet was caused by the camera, maybe even the picture that James took. Back in the cave, James and Isaiah are confronted by five people, and four of them look exactly the same. I think the main characters are going to have to deal with clones or imposters. And, speaking of which, this scene is how the trailer ends. <laughs> We need to talk. If the main characters are gonna have to deal with evil clones, perhaps this is referring to Perfect School, a Goosebumps short story about kids who get cloned. Back to the trailer. Margot then drops some interesting info. This is all connected. He's getting revenge for what our parents did to him. I'm assuming the he Margot is referring to is Harold Biddle. It seems that the parents of the five main teenagers, Isaiah, James, Margot, Isabella, and Lucas, either purposefully or accidentally killed Harold Biddle in their teenage years. Somehow, Harold Biddle has come back and he's taking his anger out on the children of the people responsible for his demise. During this part of the trailer, we also see Nathan Pratt blowing dust off an old book. We see a similar looking book a little later, now in the possession of Margot and Isaiah. I'm not entirely sure what's all in in there and what importance it'll play in the show. But I have a feeling this book is what the characters are gonna have to use to stop the Goosebumps monsters. We also see a quick shot of a location near a body of water. It looks like it's some kind of factory, but the Goosebumps fan in me is getting Horrorland vibes. Next, we see Isaiah taking a hammer to the camera, which I feel isn't gonna work. There's also a scene of Isaiah opening a locker and finding the camera inside. Did someone put it there? Or did Isaiah destroy the camera only to find it magically back together inside his locker? There's also a clip of Nathan Bratt waving to Nora, who comes walking out of a cabin in the woods. What's the significance of the cabin? Is there something important in there? After all, we do know that Nora dabbles in sorcery. Next, a clip of Marco, Isabella, and Isaiah in a tunnel is played as they run away from a light, which I assume is a train or something similar. Notice that Isaiah still has his arm in a cast. Right after this, we get to the best part of the trailer. We see someone, who I think is Harold Biddle, peering through an opening in a brick wall. On the other side of the wall is a suitcase. I wonder if Harold is in the same location as Isaiah, Margo, and Isabella. Anyways, in the next shot, the suitcase is flung open, and inside is a ventriloquist dummy. That's gotta be slappy. We actually get a much better look at the living dummy in a promo video Disney Plus released showing what shows and movies are coming to their platform in October. One brief shot of Slappy is shared and he definitely looks creepy, but look at his hair. It looks real compared to the painted hair that we've seen him have in every other version of the living dummy. Perhaps it's the lighting, but it kind of looks red, just like the Slappy from the original Goosebumps TV show. Speaking of the original show, what are some moments that are scary even as an adult? To see those, watch this video.